Hi Joyce, if you don't mind can I sit with you? There is something I want to ask of you. Okay no problem. You can come sit here. Okay. What is it you want to say? I wanted to ask if we can be friends. I like you. And I like the way you look. Your dresses are always so beautiful and I really want to be close to you. Because I want to be like you. Oh that? Thanks for the compliments. No problem we can be friends. I don't mind being your friend. I like your hair. It is so beautiful. I really want to be like you. I can understand how you are feeling now because I used to be like you. Until I met someone who changed my life for good. Just like you, I am from a poor background, but now I can pay all my bill myself without even bothering my parents. In fact I even send money to my family too. Wow. But how? I know that you are not working, you're just a student like me. Where do you get all that money from? As I already told you. I met a lady who changed my life. In fact I am contemplating dropping out of school, because I will be traveling abroad soon. Not just me. She is helping some other girl leave in search of greener pastures too. Oh wow. I really need that kind of help right now. I am tired of living like this. Please can you help me beg her? Tell her to help me travel abroad too. Please help me. I will talk to her about you. Hopefully she agrees to help you then your life will change forever. Because once you get abroad, you will start making so much money that you will be sending plenty money home for you family. You can even build a house if you want. But what kind of job are you going to do over there? I know that getting a job abroad is not so easy. The lady has so many high connections. She will hook us up with people who will make us rich. Okay, please help me beg her. To take me along. So you are the girl who wants to change levels right? Yes ma, please help me. I want to be like Joyce and other big girls in town. Well, you are a very pretty and smart girl so I will help you. I hope you are ready to cooperate. You have to do anything you are told without questions. Yes ma. I am ready to do anything. Okay, good girl. That's the spirit. Tomorrow by 12 am come to the address I will send to you. You must not tell any of your family member about this. Yes ma, I won't talk to anyone about it. Ma'am why did you ask me to come here by this time of the night? It's so scary out here. We are here to take an oath. An oath. Why? Drink this concoction and swear that you will never tell anyone about your trip abroad, and you will be submissive and loyal to me once we get there. If you default then you will die. But nobody told me about this part. Didn't you say you were ready to do anything? Well if you can't do this then forget about going abroad. Okay, I will do it. Oh wow. Look at you, you have totally transformed. You look so different. It's all thanks to you for introducing me to Lady Beatrice. She bought me some new clothes and gave me some money too. Well, this is what I was talking about. I hope you are getting ready for our trip. Yes. I am but I am having cold feet. After the oath taking the other day it feels like there is more to this. There is nothing to worry about, you just have to focus on the winds. It's normal we all took the oath. It is not a big deal. Okay I can't wait to make money and start sending money to my parents. Joyce, I can't believe I abandoned my family and education for this. I thought you said that we are going to get a job once we come here. It has been weeks now and this is it. Is this not a job? What other kind of job do you want? Look just relax very soon our hustle will start paying off. No one told me about this side of the hustle. Nobody told me I have to come get for prostitution. Having sex with five to six men daily. I don't even get to see the money. 
Madame Beatrice takes every penny I make. I am really disappointed. If I had no relax, soon you will start making so much money. I have to go now, I have a client who is waiting for me. What have I gotten myself into? I didn't know I was brought here to become a sex slave. I sleep with men and Madame Beatrice takes all the money. I really want out. I am tired of all these. I have to look for a way to leave this miserable life. Ma please I came to ask you for a favor. You already know the rules. You can't call any family member or friend for the meantime. Don't forget that our rules are bind boo the oath you took. If you default then you will face the consequences. And as for sending money to your family, I don't think that is possible yet. You are yet to pay me completely for every expenses I made bringing you here. Or did you think I run a charity organization? I provided an accommodation for you and the other girls, and I fred and clothe you too. Who do you think will incur all those expenses? Well for now every money you are paid belongs to me until you pay me completely for everything I spent being you here. After then you will be free and can do whatever you want. You can leave. And get ready you have to go meet a man this evening. You look just as pretty as Beatrice said. Come on, come very closer. Thank you sir, but please sir, I don't think I want to do this with you. You are old enough to be my father. Shut up young woman. I have already paid your boss and you are here to do whatever I want. In fact I will call your boss and report that you are not complying. I am sorry sir, please don't complain to her. I will do anything you want. That's the spirit, good girl. Now go to my hotel room and wait for me. That merry girl is really giving me a hard time. She complains too much and is too demanding. Something tells me that she is going to be a problem to me. I need to get rid of her before she spoils my business and land me in trouble. After all I have made enough money from here. She is of no use to me anymore. Her family doesn't even know her whereabout. So her disappearance won't be traced to me. I know what to do. Paul I have a job for you. Look at this girl in this picture, she is one of my girls. She is becoming a pain in the ass, I want you to end her life. Without any trace just like you did with the other girls before dawn. Mary was killed and buried by Paul as instructed by Madame Beatrice. Her family never knew her whereabout or what happened to her. There is no shortcut to success. There is no easy way out, you have to work diligently to earn a profitable living, also be contented with what you have while striving to get what you want. One day your hard work will pay off and you will be happy you did. Shalom. Thank you for watching, please support the channel by hitting the subscribe button below, like and share our videos. Don't forget to turn on notifications to this channel so that you will be notified when a new video drops.